G'day guys, welcome to the Free Teach channel again. Um, we're gonna spit out today um, some three median smoothing. So how to use the medians or three um, three data points to smooth something using the median values. Um, it's actually compared to something like mean smoothing. It's the calculations are basically non-existent. It's just a physical um, look at three points, find the middle point on the x and y axis. And then from there, um, plot the new point. So straight into it. So this one we're finding the three mean. I know that's on the side with the way I printed it. Three mean smoothing. So let's make it clear. Sorry, three median smoothing. Sometimes I wonder how I got my pen license. Alrighty. So first thing we do. We take three points, all right? So we are looking at the first three points. We're gonna look at these three right here, okay? And we're gonna look at, from left to right, what point's in the middle, all right? And that's the easy bit. I mean, it's, we look at that, and we know that that point is in the middle. So we can, sometimes it's easiest if we just draw maybe a dotted line down there. So this one is gonna be centered on Feb. There's not gonna be any point centered on January, all right? Now that we've done that, okay, left to right, then we look up and down at these three points and go, right, what's the middle point? So here, March's point is the lowest. Then we hit January, and Feb's point is actually the highest. So out of those three, we go, right, January's is the, on the y-axis, the middle point. So that gives us our second axis to plot upon. All right, so we've got February, and the middle point between these three is January's value. All right, so I'm gonna put something nice and bright, easy to see. Sorry, that was my daughter's hair, I think. Homeschooling, always fun during quarantine. So, our first point that's smooth is there. I'm gonna try and erase those other lines there just so that we don't get confused. And move on. Okay, so done Feb. Next three points. Feb, March, April. All we've done, moved one month up. Okay, now again, it's going to be centered on March's values. All right, so it's going to be along this axis right there. I'm not going to put another line there. Same thing I asked myself. So I know that it's centered on the x axis there. Which point is centered on the y axis? So April's the middle, the lowest, because there's three. The next one up we know has to be the middle. March is the middle, and you can see here February is the top month. There. So this one is centered on March and March. Okay. So for this one doesn't move. Moving on again. We go to April is what it's going to be centered on. So if April is centered on, we're going to be looking between these points. And that's going to be our end one. It starts to tell a pretty obvious story. So that line, April between these three points, is the lowest. So the highest is obviously May. Okay. April's the lowest, highest is May, then March is our middle point. So we line this one up with there, with March on the y-axis and April on the x-axis. Keep chugging along. I'll stop drawing those in pencil now if I can help it. So we look at May. We can look at each point to the side of that. So we can see that there's June. April is the lowest. May is the highest, June is the middle, so June is going to sit, June is going to dictate the y-axis and where that sits. Okay, so it's going to sit right there. And chugging along again. Okay, we'll continue on. A little bit of a glitch. Always try and make sure you've got enough space in your, in your storage to fit a whole video in when you start recording. Uh, we're up to June. So... Out of these three points, May, June, July, 
May's the highest, June's the lowest, sorry, July's the lowest. So June is going to dictate that one. July, we look at June, July, August for those three. July's the middle. Centered on August, July, August, September. This one changes the pattern there for a second. So August is the lowest, July is the highest. So September dictates the Y axis. August, September, October. September is the middle of those three. You start to see a pattern pretty quickly. October, you can see that September is between those. So November is the lowest, October is the highest. So September's value will come across. November, so we've got October, November, December. For that one, November's the lowest, December's the highest, and October will come across there. Okay, so once we've done that, join them all up. Okay. And you'll see that it starts to, and you see at the ends we don't have any points to match up with. And it starts to take off the extremes of all of it. So similar to if you've seen the mean smoothing, the more you smooth it by, the greater the um, peaks and the troughs are smoothed out by. Okay, so we start to cut off May there, and little bits of April, August there. Okay, hope that's helpful. Um, and we will put up next five medium, five medium smoothing.